As our 58 hometown store continues this morning, we are learning more about Carthage College in Kenosha. Joining us live is Ashley Hansen, Vice President of Enrollment at Carthage. Good morning, Ashley. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having Carthage as part of your hometown series. I'm excited to be here this morning. We're excited to have you. Tell us a little more about the history of Carthage College. Absolutely. So Carthage has been in existence for over 175 years and over 62 of those years have been here right on the shores of Lake Michigan in Kenosha. And for our viewers from Milwaukee, we are a quick 30 minute drive south. And so it really gives students that going away to college feel, but yet they're still close to home as well. And over 2,600 students on our campus. And this year we welcome students from 32 different states in over 21 countries as well. So it's definitely that place that students are finding as their home away from home. And in regards to your teaching programs, what kind of programming do you guys offer, Ashley? We offer over 50 different majors, and including minors, and including nursing. We have a direct entry program for nursing. We have an engineering program, musical theater, education, allied health sciences, esports, which you're seeing right now. Wow. So many opportunities for our students. One of my favorite questions that I love to ask students during their college search process is, what is your dream job? Because that's what really sparks when they answer that question as they think about what's next. That's a really great way to approach it. Also, it's so crazy to me that esports has blown up like it has. It's so different than even when I went to school. It's so interesting how you guys kind of cater to those little needs and they blow up into a big industry. I just love seeing that. Tell us more yeah. about your enrollment process. How is that trending right now? Enrollment, it is great. You know, higher ed right now, there's a lot of different things that are going on as we watch what is happening across the country. But Carthage is bucking those trends. This fall, for the fall of 2023, we welcomed the largest incoming class in the history of the college. Oh. 777 freshmen stepped on the campus in the fall and just over 80 transfer students. And it's wonderful, you know, they're here because they're drawn in by that lake view, that postcard that always catches their eye. Um, but the things that really makes them stay is the community, mm -hmm. the opportunities, our location, you know, being halfway between Milwaukee and Chicago, which is one of the fastest growing areas of the country. Our students have opportunities right in their backyard. And we are continuing to grow by offering new programs and those experiences for those students as they, again, discover what's next in their life. It's a big step and we're happy to have you helping those students out. Ashley, thank you for joining us and being part of our hometown tour. Really appreciate that. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Certainly, happy holidays, Mike. Second. A popular hangout for Carthage College students is our hometown foodie spot of the week. It's called the Daily Dose Cafe in Kenosha, and it's where we find our own Michael Schlesinger exploring the menu. All right, there's a song from 60 years ago exactly, November 1963, called Sugar Shack. This place reminds me of it. We'll call it the Daily Dose Shack. <laughs> Jennifer Caponi, good to see you, owner. Good morning. So you are very close to Carthage College. You've been here 16 years. What is the secret to success, I keep asking you? Taking care of your customers, loving what you do, and taking care of your people. You've got a lot of regulars here, and you know exactly what they want to eat. Absolutely. Speaking of that, what do we have at the end here? We have our famous Biscalicious plate that is biscuits and gravy piled on top of our seasoned potatoes and eggs on top. National French Toast Day, how fitting. That is our best selling breakfast sandwich. It is French toast, it's my favorite. Scrambled eggs, bacon, American cheese and syrup in between French toast. All right, middle of the line, what do we have here? Peanut butter fruit toast. This is the best version you'll get of peanut butter and jelly. Fresh fruit, peanut butter and whole grain toast. Another panini, which you're known for. This is our awesome beef panini. Um, if we only sold this, <laughs> we would still be able to stay in business. It's beef, cheese, garlic aioli, sambal chili, smooshed in between two pieces of delicious bread. Breakfast tacos? Breakfast tacos are on fire. They are uh, just a beautiful mix of chorizo, scrambled eggs, and cheddar cheese. We've got a side of jalapeno and onion and avocado on top. Two more things. This is our avocado toast. This is a plant-based friendly item, but we also can add an egg or chopped bacon to it. And last but not least. 
Southwest chicken wrap, black bean corn salsa, chicken, avocado ranch at a wrap. Plant-based is big here with the kids on campus, right? Yes. I'm assuming. Yes. But again, you have customers of all ages that come in here. Absolutely. And they know what they want. You also have a swift takeout business and catering on the side too. We do. How about 16 more years? Why not? Okay. Jennifer, thank you for your hospitality. Good stuff, good eating here near Carthage College in Kenosha. Back to you. Thank you. Home to 2,800 students on the shores of Lake Michigan, Carthage College has a lot to offer inside and outside the classroom. Despite changing its name and its location since being founded in 1847, the core of a liberal arts education has stayed the same and helped build the community found in Kenosha today. CBS 58's Natalie Shepard tours the campus for this week's CBS 58 Hometowns. <laughs> The campus of Carthage College has been here on the shores of Lake Michigan in Kenosha for more than 60 years, so obviously a lot of history, but the school has some decidedly 21st century programs that are quite literally out of this world. My name is Kevin Crosby. I'm a professor of physics, astronomy, and lots of other things here, including entrepreneurship, and I run the uh, NASA Wisconsin Space Grant Consortium. We are the ambassador for the agency at the state level. They're testing their experiments, seeing how they will behave in space. And it's often sort of a precursor for the next step, which is to get it onto the International Space Station. If you love space, you're in. We'll take you. I've never turned a student away. Uh, and this is an opportunity for everybody, regardless of where they come from and what their um, backgrounds or skills are, to participate in the space economy. Well, I'm Robert Zhang. I'm the director of eSports here. We're currently in the eSports arena here. Um, at Carthage, uh, we have about 24 gaming PCs here. It's a unique sport uh, in a way, but we are considered the a varsity sport here at Carthage. So my name is Nadia Musaitif. I am one of the varsity league co-captains. You're very much treated like a varsity athlete. You have practices, we review film. We do like both physical and mental stuff that I think makes eSports really unique. My name is Dr. Michelle Hancock, and I'm Vice President of College Culture for Inclusion here at Carthage College. Hi, I'm Professor Jackie Easley, and I'm um, a professor of education. Today term is sort of an interim semester. It's a one-month January term. For example, the South Africa J term that I've been doing for the past five years is all about service to others. 20 to 24 students that participate. Every other year, I travel every other year. They come back with a sense of motivation that they too can make a difference. As you can hear, the choir students are getting ready for a huge performance coming up this weekend. The annual Carthage Christmas Festival has been going on for almost 150 years. We're gonna tell you all about it coming up on Thursday. But for now, we'll send it back to you at the studio. If you're hoping to get in the holiday spirit, you may want to consider a trip to Kenosha. Yeah, how about this? Carthage College is hosting its annual Christmas festival. It's a tradition that goes back almost 150 years. CBS 58's Natalie Shepard has a preview of the event in this week's CBS 58 Hometowns. <laughs> The holiday season is in full swing, and here at Carthage College, they are getting ready for a long-running annual Christmas tradition. I am joined by Choral Director Maggie Burke. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having us. And so talk to me about the annual Christmas festival. This has been going on a long time. Yeah, this is the 149th iteration of the Carthage Christmas Festival. We've been doing this in some form since the late 19th century. It started as a band concert with maybe six or seven players, and it's gradually expanded to about 200 students who are who are going to be playing and singing this weekend. All right, so. well, you said that it started out as a band concert, but it has expanded far beyond that. Correct. How many different organizations from the school are involved? So all four of our choirs here on campus, which we have the Carthage Choir, the Lincoln Chamber Singer, our treble choir and our chorale will be singing as well as our wind orchestra is playing and our philharmonic orchestra. And what can people expect is this holiday music? This is a combination of some old favorites, carols and, and songs that you'd associate with, with Christmas and also a bunch of new things too. 
All right, well, now I want to bring in production director for the festival, Matthew Hoagland. What are you looking forward to this week? I am so excited about opening our doors to the community and sharing what Carthage really does well, which is we put on great productions and we provide great atmosphere for not only our students, but also for our community to celebrate the holidays, to celebrate the season, and just generally come together and have a good time. Because we are here in the... AF Siebert Chapel. Which is a beautiful space. Gorgeous space. Yes, um, and so we're here seats about 1200. We're very excited. We're very close to selling out, but we still have some tickets left. My job as program director for the undergraduate musical theater program is to really make sure our kids get that triple threat education of singing, acting, and dancing. I like to say you're going to be a quad threat because you're going to be a good human when you walk out of here. Well, fantastic. Have a great final week leading up to Thank it. You. And uh, if you are still looking for a way to enjoy some holiday music this season, those tickets are still available. We'll have all the information at cbs58.com. Back to you guys.